Hi all, Craig and Latte here. It's that time again where I bring you my tips, facts, or experience that you may or may not find helpful. In a recent interview with Ian, one of the things mentioned was that they are indeed working on implementing cross-faction guilds. Let's be honest, <laughs> this was an obvious next step given the recent introduction of some, albeit limited, cross-faction play in the form of some non queued instances, which are pretty much just raids and dungeons. As you may well know, this is super exciting news that I have been anticipating to hear. Because of my mostly solo playstyle, previously added cross-faction content doesn't apply to me directly with the exception of being able to mail between factions if your alts are on the same server. That addition, which was put in a while ago now, has been so nice. While no concrete time frame was given, Ian did mention they wanted to get this feature in before Dragonflight, if they can. Are there any, is there any progress being made to the technical limitation of cross-faction guilds? Is it something maybe mid-expansion or much longer than that, do you think? Um, there's definitely progress being made. It's, some, it's something we want to do. I, I, if I, it's not really responsible for me to commit to a time frame. I, I would say I would like us to do it before the next expansion. Okay. But it's it's in the hands of a lot of engineering problem solving and just you know a lot of a lot of these changes are pulling on a thread in you know code and systems that have been built for, to work a certain way for 20 years and realizing like hey this is trickier than we expected. It may be easier than we expected. We'll see. So, while when this happens is up in the air, just like adding greys and whites to the MOG system that was supposed to come with 925, ahem, the point is, is that it's coming soon. TM. And, in addition to that news, I actually have a few goals that I've already completed that you may want to know about and start working on in case cross-faction guilds do come before Dragonflight, because this does change some things. I mean, that may even be with pre-patch, which could be like the end of October, barely two months away now, if everything stays on track. So, let's get straight to the point. When cross-faction guilds are added, this means you can have all your alts and friends of both factions, obviously, in the same guild. Remember though, to do this they all need to be on the same server. So, goal one, you may want to transfer any alts from other servers onto one server of your choice if you want to have them all in the same guild. So, now is a good time to find the server you want to stay on because, let me tell you, transferring a lot of alts repeatedly? Not fun. Goal two, if you do goal one, this means more characters with professions will be on hand in the same guild, regardless of faction. So you may even be able to cut back on some profession alts if you happen to have a lot of them across both factions because, you know, you couldn't share stuff. With the exception of Soulbound Craftable Gear, which is, you know, Soulbound to that character anyways, you'll be able to share everything via the guild bank. Or, as a side note, even by mail, which is a feature already in the game. So to add to that idea, Planning out your profession alts if you don't have any will be easier because of the very minimal faction restriction. So it's not really going to matter what faction you pick for your profession alts. That's going to be nice, right? And goal number three, this one is a toughie and totally extra, but it is completing the stay classy achievement for your guild to unlock the eighth bank tab. If you're like me and have two guilds, one for each faction, you'll only need to pick one of the two that you want to keep because cross-faction guilds means you need only one guild. The reason I bring this up is because it may actually be easier to complete this mega meta achievement now, before the cross-faction guilds go live. Why? While it's not confirmed and it's not been mentioned, the requirements for this achievement may be updated to include both factions, as they do tend to add to the achievements when new class race combos are added. Which, by the way, will double the amount of players and alts that you'll need to get that achievement. So, if that's true, yeah, start now if you want this, because hot damn. I'm glad I'm done. Better safe than sorry. Woof. And there we have it. 
If you think I've missed information or you want to request I do a specific guide, let me know in the comments below. Even if I don't answer you, I just might add your idea to my list. As always, thank you so much for watching, and remember, it's never too latte.